everyone is creating video now and so many people can use this software i think we found that too like people from all corners of the internet all corners of the world are just logging in to like create videos um but i think as we've grown as a company we've seen one like the main target audience or the main customer base that has really found kapwing useful is um, marketing teams media teams communication teams making um constantly like repurposing and creating content for social media. Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Okay, well, let's dive in. Grace, thanks for joining us today on Business Ninjas. We're excited to have you on the show. Um, why don't we start by covering just the basics? So if you could tell us your role in the company, the name of the company, uh, you know, the website, where the company's located, and then we'll kind of dive in from there. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Jamie. Um, glad to be here. I'm. My name is Grace. Uh, I work as a product marketing manager at Kapwing. So um, we're based in SF. We have a headquarter in SF, and we also have an office in New York City now. Um, that was kind of new this year. Um, but yeah, you can find us at kapwing.com. We're basically, to summarize what we are, we're a co collaborative video editor for modern teams and content creators. Um, so yeah. Right on. And maybe you can tell us a, a little bit of, uh, you know, your career arc that brought you to this present opportunity. Yeah, so this is actually my first full time job out of college. Um, I guess for context, I've always been a creator myself. Uh, my parents are very creative, they're artists, and I grew up really in appreciating art, self-expression, um, storytelling. Um, and I also started getting more into health, actually, over the years. And so in college, I studied public health. Um, but I realized over time that the thing I really cared about was not necessarily, I mean, the the research itself of like, you know, emerging health research is really important. But I think the more fascinating thing to me was how do we take research or important messages and communicate them to the people that need to hear them? Um, so I found myself always getting drawn into the public health communications aspect of, of public health. Um, so as I started thinking about like my career and where I wanted to go, um, I think being able to spread messages that I care about was at the center of that, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of what marketing is, I would say, yeah. uh, or communication. So um, I found this internship at Kapwing. I applied to it. I thought it was really cool because it was a creative software trying to spread other people's stories and empower people to, yeah, just tell their own stories as well. Um, and so, yeah, I started as a growth marketing at Kapwing, helped build our YouTube channel and other uh, growth initiatives, and then started full time um, again as a content creator. Um, and over the years, I've, I guess, gone into different like areas like strategy, and now I'm in more product marketing um, because I think it's fascinating to get to work more on the product itself and um, make sure that what we're spreading, the messages we're sharing to people are getting reaching the right audience and representing like the brand the way we want to. That's awesome. Wow. And so you would have seen a lot of the, <laughs> the, the COVID era communications around health policy must have been a case study for you, right? These oh, were yeah. probably issues that you'd already thought through. And that's like a, a great level set to be able to launch your career from once you've thought at scale about how to spread a message like that. That's, that's mm, a, mm -hmm. a great way to transition into industry. Uh, yeah. and so which industries does Kapwing kind of focus on if you have a vertical, vertical focus? Clearly, this is something that probably every industry would need, but maybe some are a little more forward thinking with this than others are. Yeah, I, I definitely think like pretty much anyone from any industry who's trying to make video content is using Kapwing. So we have everyone from like, you know, kids trying to make memes who are still in school to professionals at B2B businesses trying to communicate or like make videos for specific customers to people who are in more B2C businesses trying to create videos for social media. Um, so I think the the main the main similarities between the our biggest 
like customers and creators using Kapwing are, um, yeah, they're people trying, they're content creators, entrepreneurs trying to build their brand um, and spread their stories on social media or their marketing comms teams, agencies working with clients or just trying to, yeah, get that message out through social media since that's such a big way people are communicating now. Wow. Okay. And then how did the company start? What was the origin story for the company and how, how has that original vision maybe shifted as the company scaled? Mm, yeah, actually, I feel like our origin story is pretty interesting. Um, so uh, we were founded by two people who, Julie and Eric, they used to work at Google. Um, and in 2017, they kind of started noticing like, you know, social media was already a big thing. It was getting bigger and bigger each year. And they themselves would try to make little videos, little snippets, GIFs for social media to post on like Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn, wherever. And they just found like traditional editing tools were so hard to use. They're just, they're hard to learn. They're hard to get started with if you don't have that background already. Um, and so they thought that like, there must be a more simple way to just, most of the tools in these, in these editing programs are not needed by the vast majority of people who are just trying to make something for social media or like repurpose a clip, you know? Um, right. So they wanted to make something that was very accessible, intuitive, in the cloud so anyone could could use it on any device um, to make these little snippets and videos for social media so they created kapwing um they it, it originally actually was mostly for meme creation so mm. i think that the very first iteration of kapwing was like you could upload an image you can add text on it that was pretty much it um, but people really loved it because it's like, yeah, who needs an Adobe Premiere or even an iMovie to like create like a two second video, you know? Yeah. Um, so it started as a meme creator as more and more people used it. They requested features for other things to add to the, the platform. Um, and over time, it's just become this full fledged video editor collaborative platform now. So yeah, it's been it's been a journey and we're always trying to continue adding like more features that creators want. Nice. And how uh, with that that growth over time, how do you separate yourselves out from the other uh, options that are out there? Right. It's a you know, competitive mm -hmm. marketplace and all of that. So how have you positioned yourselves to to be different than the rest? Yeah, I feel like at the core of like why our brand is different is um, I think we are creators ourselves. We Most of the people who work at Kapwing were creators before even coming to Kapwing. Like I have a YouTube channel that I worked on a lot when I was in high school and college um, that got me into the creative realm. Uh, and even at Kapwing, we still create as our for our brand. So we've built up our YouTube channel to like 100, over 170,000 subscribers. Um, we are always trying to stay up to date with creator news and trends. And that's what a lot of our content is about. Um, and I think just having our ear to the ground in that way and like really caring about what creators, what feedback we're getting from creators, what they care about in the moment has allowed us to build features that creators care about and that are modern. Um, so it's not like we're building just traditional tools that anyone can use for or like that professionals are using for video. It's like what the vast majority of people who are making modern formats need. Um, so yeah, I'd say like basically we're we're modern, we're collaborative. And I think those are two main things that most creators and teams need for video creation now that a lot of traditional editors don't have. Mm. Um, I would say it's, I think we're basically like a, a Google Docs for video editing or like a Figma for video editing. Um, yeah. Interesting. And what, I guess, so, I mean, given the wide array of people that could be using this, seg segmenting yeah. out the market is is probably difficult. Like, it, do you have an ideal customer type that have, like, fairly predictable goals and challenges that they're working through? Or is it that so many people need this that there's just a million different ways to slice up the market? I think that is one thing that we've thought about a lot over the years is like who is the the our main target audience because everyone is creating video now and so many people can use this software. I think we found that too like people from all corners of the internet, all corners of the world are are just logging in to like create videos. Um but I think as we've grown as a company, we've seen one like the main target audience or the main customer base that has really found Kapwing useful is um, marketing teams, media 
media teams, communication teams making um, constantly like repurposing and creating content for social media, um, whether that's like organic content for YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, those places, or even ads or customer testimonials, um, basically like people trying to not trying to make a lot of content really quickly and not have to like recreate the wheel constantly with re remaking videos. They're also expanding their teams, um, trying to get more of their team making content. So they're not, they, I think Kapwing helps with that because um, you don't have to be blocked by like one or two video editors who are professionals at like a, a traditional editing software. Anyone on the team can now like be part of the video creation process. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it just speaks volumes to why YouTube's grown so much, right? Like you've given yeah. everybody the tools to really succeed out there and, and do some interesting things. That's amazing. Yeah. And what's the, the strategy behind outreach for the company? So it's that wide an array of people that can use it. Um, you, you've got to be able to be creative yourselves and getting your message out there. So what's the, broadly speaking, how are you reaching out to folks and like, what are the major social media channels that you use to find new uh, potential users for the tools? Yeah, um, I would say one thing is like beyond just the the actual like social media channels talking to customers, I think product led growth is, has been a big uh, thing for us from the very early days, just creating, like, as I said, creating features that creators want, and then they'll try and like, they'll share it on their own to other people who they know, like have the same problem of video creation is slow or inaccessible. Um, I think another way is like, we have a watermark that we put on our pro on projects that are made for free. So we have like a free version. Anyone can get started for free. Um, and then we have paid plans. Um, and in the early days, especially that watermark was really key to like having more people learn about Kapwing because someone would make a meme with it and then post it on Reddit and then like, you know, potentially millions of people see it. Um, and then they will also go to Kapwing to like make their own stuff. So I think in the early days, that was a big way that Kapwing grew. Um, and then another cornerstone of our marketing and just like getting the word out about Kapwing has been SEO and um, kind of this like thought leadership writing content and creating for creators um, about things that they're wondering about or have problems with. Um, so through like written content on our blog posts, um, I remember one of the main, one of our biggest articles, I think of all time pretty much was about um, on Instagram, you used to not be able to post two different sized photos. Mm -hmm. So if it, one was a square and one was more vertical, it was like one of them would get cut off. Uh, and so that was like something that we ran into that we we're like, oh, maybe other people are running into this problem as well. So we wrote, you know, a blog post about it and millions of people have read that post and started using Kapwing because we help people resize their their projects. Um, so yeah, SEO is definitely a big a big one. And then obviously going to where video creators are is YouTube. Um, I think YouTube's our, our biggest social media platform so far. Um, yeah, just we've always had videos about trends, creator news, how to make modern formats that people are talking about at the time. And um, that's definitely helped build our community and uh, get feedback as well for the product. That, wow. Well, thanks for coming on today. We Appreciate your time and got to learn a ton about Kapwing and we're going to enjoy watching you go to greater heights in 2023. So thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie.